Hello, I'm Betsy and welcome to our commercial crunches. Let's get started with our first segment of our five segment total. Find some light weights and let's turn that TV off and let's get started. I'm using a five pound weight for overhead shoulder press. Extending the arms overhead, make sure you're breathing anywhere from 15 to 20. Bending over from the waist, we will do reverse flies. Squeezing the shoulder blades around the spine, bring the arms out to the side and slightly behind you. Make sure you retain a nice strong core by pulling the belly button into the spine and keep a steady breath. Next, we will work into the triceps by doing overhead tricep extension. Keeping the elbows close to the head, dropping the weights down to the center of the spine, extending the arms straight overhead and squeezing through the tricep range. Again, pulling the belly button into the spine and keep a steady breath. 15 to 20 repetitions is perfect. Working into a single arm bicep curl, placing the elbow on the thigh, bending from the waist, keeping the belly button pulled in. Filling the arm all the way up to the shoulder and then releasing all the way down. Before repeating the movement, we will do 15 to 20 on each side. Remember, each of these segments of the five we're doing are about two minutes long, which is the amount of time it takes to run through a normal commercial. Okay, we are done with upper body. Next, we're going into lower body. Using your own body weight over your couch or a chair, we're just going to do squats, keeping both feet flat on the floor, engaging the abdominals as we sit and hover just above the seat of the chair. Engaging the glutes as you stand up. You may use the arms as a counterbalance if you wish. You can even put some hand weights into the arms and either do some shoulders with the legs or just keep the arms by your side for some extra resistance. This is working the front quadricep muscle of the legs. Now grabbing the hand weights, we'll do straight leg deadlifts by pulling the belly in and make sure you keep a nice straight spine. I like to keep my eyes forward. This helps me keep my spine straight. Engaging the abs and bending as far forward by keeping the knees soft, but not bending the knees so you're not forming a squat for legs. So this way you will work into the upper hamstrings and into the gluteals, the back side of the legs. Again, 15 to 20 repetitions, breathing. Placing the weights down, go ahead and stand behind your chair or the couch for our side leg lifts. Keeping the spine straight, standing leg is engaged, and just lift the leg out to the side. You could also do this in the leg lift behind you, which would engage the gluteals, so you could alternate on different sets, different directions with the legs. Make sure to counterbalance with the other side. Moving into our third set, which is our cardio. These are intervals. You may pick any sort of cardio movement. It could even be running in place. I'm just doing a set of jumping jacks. We do about 20 to 30 of these to get the heart rate up. You can of course do any modification if you are not able to do any sort of balancing or jumping movement. Uh, you could do a modified jumping jack, or you could just lift one leg at a time before lifting the other, just for stability without the bounce. 
I like to come down to the floor and do mountain climbers. Just kind of running in place by stabilizing in a plank. This is a great core workout, plus it will get your heart rate up. Again, you can do a modified version, just bringing one knee slowly in and then exchanging the other, or be down on the forearms if you can't be on your wrist. Side steps are a great one for cardio. Again, you don't have to do the hop, it could just be a step touch. I like to add the arms in. I call this the speed skater. Keep the core tight. You notice by now your heart rate is getting elevated. So we are getting a little cardio workout. And now I'm gonna go into burpees. This is the most advanced version of the cardio intervals. So if you wanna repeat one of the other ones, feel free to do that. Or if you wanna go ahead and go and give me that full burpee to really end uh, with the most challenging exercise to really uh, push that heart rate up. Great two minute interval. Have a seat, catch your breath. Next up, we're going to work our abs. So find a mat, or if you have a nice um, rug or carpeting, you may just lay on that. Keeping the eyes up at the ceiling always. Almost pretend there's an orange or grapefruit between your chin and your chest. That way you make sure not to pull at the neck. Exhaling as you're coming up, inhaling as you come down. Working the upper abs on this portion. Again, doing a set of about 20 to 25 of these. Moving on to hip lifts. So just picking your feet up off the floor, lifting your hips up a couple inches off the mat. So we're engaging the lower abdominals. Make sure you maintain a steady breath. You can support the hands on the floor, or you could even place the hands under the hip bones. And just tap the hips onto the hands. straight into bicycles, just extending opposite arm, opposite leg. You may also do this in a format where you place the hands under the hips to support a lower spine, keeping the head on the floor and just allow the legs to alternate. So you can take any modification you might need. Just make sure to keep a neutral spine, abs engaged, and a steady breath. Give yourself a little hug, take a moment. One of my favorites, opposite arm, opposite leg. So dropping the leg down to the floor, the hands are going the opposite direction of the leg that is being lowered. It's so again working through the torso, the obliques. It can be challenging, you can do this with bent knees, or you can just avoid the hands altogether and just keep the legs straight. That's it. You're done with your two minute abs. Take a break. Last set, now we're gonna work the entire core, focusing on the back. This is great for those of you that might have some back injuries. So coming down on the floor on hands and knees, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, alternating arm and leg, extending out in opposite directions. This can be do, done modified if you wanna place your forearms down, maybe you have trouble with the wrist. You could do that and extend the arm and the leg in opposite directions, modification. Make sure to keep the belly button pulled into the spine and a steady breath. Do a total of 20. Now into a plank position. Just holding a plank, a static plank. You could even challenge yourself and hold a two minute plank through an entire commercial. We'll see if you could do it. Uh, we're just gonna do about a 40 second plank here. Lowering down onto the stomach, lifting the arms and the legs at the same time. So we're engaging the middle portion of the back along with the gluteals. Modification, you could leave the feet on the floor and just lift the upper body for 10. And then you can leave the upper body on the floor and lift the lower body for 10. You could even alternate one leg at a time and then the other leg as another variation to the lower leg portion of this. And swimming, I love this one because it's an isometric movement for the lower back, but it also works the arms and the gluteals, so arms and legs fluttering in opposite direction. It's 
go ahead and sit back into our child's position, stretching the arms long, chest down to the thighs. And guess what, gang? You're done. <laughs>